Hello everyone, my name is Nathai. I post EV3 Scratch and Python videos to program your EV3 robot. So if you want to stay in touch, please subscribe. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to go perfectly straight, do a perfect turn, and reset your gyro sensor. The first step is to create a new project which you can name Gyro Straight Turn Reset. After that, you need to initialize your left motor and right motor and then create a drive base. The next step is to initialize our gyro sensor. So we can put our gyro sensor as the gyro underscore sensor equals the gy gyro sensor parentheses port whatever, but mine is on S2 or the second port. First, I will show you how to reset your gyro sensor. In this reset, we're not just going to reset the angle, but we're also going to reset the angular velocity. This can be important to check if your gyro sensor is resetting properly or not. If it is resetting properly, then the program will continue. But if it is not, the program will stay there and you will know. And since the program is staying there, you will know that your gyro sensor is not resetting properly. properly. So first we're going to put a gyro sensor dot re reset angle, which is a functionality of the gyro sensor as we see here. So in this reset angle, um, we, it resets it not to zero, but it can be whatever. So, and in the parentheses, there's going to be an angle which you can set it to. So we can put it to zero because you want to reset it completely. And then after that, we're going to put a wait until, which is the same one as we used in the touch sensor uh, as, the, as we did in lesson four. So we're going to put a while true. And then inside that, there's going to be an if and break statement. So if the gyro sensor angle which is the diff another functionality of the gyro sensor and it gets the angle of the sensor so if the gyro sensor's angle double equals because this is a condition equal equals zero so if the gyro sensor's angle is zero it should break out of the while loop and then now we're going to reset the angular velocity so another while true and then inside that if the gyro sensors not angle but speed because this is the this speed from this speed action gets the angular velocity of the sensor so if the gyro sensor dot speed double equals zero then it should break out of the while loop so, uh, and also one thing to remember is that when you uh, run this program, you're, you should make sure that your robot is in one place because otherwise the angular velocity is going to get a bit disrupted and then it will not uh, reset that. Now I'll show you how to go straight. This is going to be very similar to our second line follower. Is just uh, The only thing is, is that we need to replace the color sensor with the gyro sensor. So first, we're going to create a target, just like our second line follower. So we can put the target to, so the target can be two things. The first one is you re you do a whole gyro sensor reset, and then you, uh, you put the target to zero. Or the other option is you, you put the target to the current gyro sensor angle. So wherever the gyro sensor starts, it just goes straight from there. I prefer doing uh, doing the current angle because it's much more efficient. So gyro sensor angle. And then next we need to create a gain. So we can put our gain. So unlike our second line follower, this needs to be a bit big so that it can come back to where um, to its target faster. Because let's say there are two uh, two disruptions uh, with a very little gap between them then the robot will take a really long time to come back so I'll put my gain to 2 so that let's say the disruption is 
a little big, it'll take half the time to come back. Now let's create our y, our forever loop for the while true loop. In the while true, there are going to be two parts, the correction and the whole turn power. So we'll create a while true or a forever loop. And then so the correction equals the uh, target minus the current gyro sensor angle and unlike in reflected light intensity if you're an in and if and like in reflected light intensity if you're following different lines you'll need to switch this so depending on how your gyro sensor is placed you'll need to put these that way so my gyro sensor is placed uh, in, in some specific way so I put it like this but if your gyro sensor is placed the opposite way you're gonna put it the you're gonna flip these two next we need to create the the turn power so the turn power is the correction times the gain and then now we just need to put a robot that drives so the robot will drive at 100% speed and it's going to turn depending on the turn power. This is what the robot should do when you run the program. So if I try to knock it out, comes back as you can see now I will show you how to do a perfect turn the logic of this is that at first we're gonna reset the gyro sensors angle and then after that we're gonna put something like a repeat until which says that either of the motors should move depending on which way you're turning until the gyro sensor's angle is greater or lesser than how much you need to move. So we're already resetting our gyro sensor over here, so we don't need to worry about that. And so we so we can go to the main turning. So we're gonna put something like a while the gyro sensor's angle is less than 90 which basically means and this is like a repeat until and it says that while the gyro sensor's current angle is less than 90 so it's at zero right now and while it's less than 90 the left motor will run uh, which is a functionality of the motors class as we see in the user guide it will run the motor at a constant speed so the left motor as we see seen uh, back to the code the left motor will run and let's just put it to 100 millimeters per second and then the at the end the left motor will stop so basically this is like a repeat until so you should think uh, i call it a repeat until because when you think of it it's like that you should repeat turn you should keep turning until the gyro sensor's angle is less than 90 and this less or greater than depend depends on how your gyro sensor is placed so when i turn left it's going to be less for me but if I'm turning right, it's going to be greater for me. So if your gyro sensor is placed differently, it may be a little different for you. And it will also depend on which motors are used for turning left. So if you're turning, so right now, if I turn left, my left motor is going to run. And if I turn right, my, le my right motor will run this is what your robot should do when you run the program
As you can see, it did a perfect 90 degree turn. Now we'll put everything we learned today to make a perfect square. So the first step is to create three functions. And for those who have programmed in EV3G and Scratch, a function is something like a my block. So first we're gonna create the function for the gyro reset. So def, that's what a function starts with. Define basically. Um def uh define the we're gonna call this gyro reset parentheses and colon. And then we can put our whole gyro sensor reset right in this and make sure everything is indented properly like that and then the next function we're going to create is the one for the straight so we're going to name this gyro straight and then we can put a colon and I'll just make this normal and put it here. So make sure everything is indented properly. Like that. And then one thing to note is that as you can see, uh, this while this uh, this is going this uh, ro the robot is moving infinitely and we don't want that since we want the robot to stop at a certain point and do a uh, turn so for this case we're gonna uh, replace the true with the robot dot distance which is a functionality of the drive base class as we see in the user guide it measures the the distance that is uh, that is since last reset and it measures it in millimeters so one thing to know is that before you go straight you need to reset the distance driven otherwise if the distance is already driven enough then it's not going to move so for this we do this reset so we can put at the start robot dot reset and this will reset the distance driven anyways back to the loop so while the robot this dis the distance is less than let's just put it to 500 millimeters now you can you do you, you can change this value not just by putting it inside this dif uh, function but you can also put it you can change it in the program to do that, you in the parentheses, you put a value, and this can be anything, but let's just put it to distance. And then you put this uh, less than thing to distance. So that way, whenever you call out this uh, function in the parentheses, you can put 500, and then that will call out this, which will call out this, and the loop will proceed um, until the robots dis distance is less than 500 millimeters now we'll create the term so we'll create another function and we'll call this gyro term and then we'll put a colon and put everything here inside this function make sure everything is indented and as you can see there is no reset angle even though there should be to do this all we need to do is do our gyro reset instead of doing the whole reset thing now we'll create the square program and I'll, uh, and before we create the square program you can also put the same logic that is in the straight in the term so you can put this to degrees and put this value in the loop to degrees so that way whenever we call out this function you can put uh for example 90 degrees and then the the left motor will run the robot will move for 90 degrees now let's create the main square program 
So we're gonna have a while true or an infinite loop and then inside that they're gonna be our functions. So gyro straight uh, and we can put that to 500 and then the gyro turn turn and you might be thinking that we should put 90 but remember this is going to be less than or greater than so you should remember to put it something a little less or a little greater so uh, i'll put nine uh, according to my function here i'll usually put 90 but then i'm just going to reduce it by two degrees or 88 and this might disrupt the perfect 90 degree turn a bit, but it won't do much. Your robot should do something like this when you run the program. As you can see, the, tur the turns and the going straight part are much more smoother and straight because we added the gyro sensor. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new.